So the seeds have been germinated and are almost ready to be planted. It's time to get the DWC buckets put together and get those seeds planted. But first I'd like to give a shout out to the sponsor of the video, Mars Hydro. MarsHydro.com for all your growing needs, lights, ventilation, tents. Don't forget to check out, you can use my promo code TAPROOTSGROWING, save yourself a little bit of money off your order. All right, let's get these buckets put together. All right, so here's the buckets. <laughs> Uh, here's everything that we get with it. So obviously we get the air pump. We get a couple of air stones with it. Uh, we obviously get the clay pebbles. We get the airflow regulators. We get the inlet lines for, for the uh, drip rings and the water level tubes. Uh, we get these hooks that hold the tubes together. And there's little red balls in there that go in the tubes that help you uh, indicate how much water you got left in there. Uh, we got inline check valves. We got the black tubing to connect everything together. We got the drip rings. We got the net pots and like I said we got the buckets and we got the plugs to go into the holes to hold everything together. All right so full disclaimer I've never done this before <laughs> I'm figuring it out as I go I'm following the instructions with the booklet that came with the buckets <laughs> so let's start putting this together. All right so first things first uh, we're gonna start with the buckets um, I'm just gonna talk about something that I've seen in another couple of other can of creators do and that's because of the two holes that are here and what they've done is instead of using these two holes they have drilled two holes in here instead and that's because that's where the, the, the tubing goes through and when you have to change your water in your bucket and clean your bucket and for feedings and stuff like that um, it's easier if you if you're if you got them in here and you the two holes are here and you just got to take this off and all the tubing's in here so you just got to put it in a spare bucket and then take your bucket go clean it come back and put it back in and all your tubing and everything is here it stays here with the plant so i like the idea uh, i seen bill ward do it and i seen can of beards do it so i think it's a good idea and i'm going to do it myself All right, there we go. Got them drilled out. Split them up. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting in some of the plugs. All right, so now that I'm not gonna be using these two holes down here, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some, I got some duct tape, but I'm gonna use that for now. I don't even know if I'm gonna be putting the water that high in the bucket, but I'll put some tape anyways, And uh, but I'll put some duct tape for now, and then I'll end up going to get some uh, waterproof tape so that it won't leak. All right, so I'm gonna take the plug, and we're gonna put in the, uh, into the two holes for the uh, water level indicators. Next we'll put this little hook and that goes on the top one. And that's all you do is you squeeze it in there and once it's in there, it's in there pretty good. Next we're going to take one of the level indicators and it's got a little elbow at the bottom of it and that's going to go in the bottom hole. Just clip this in and that's it then once we fill in the water we'll put in the red uh, ball and that'll be our indicator all right so we're gonna start getting our hosing ready uh, I'm gonna cut the four pieces that I need from the air pump and they got to go to my uh, check valves that's these things here and what these do is it allows the air to go one way but not to go back the other way so you can't end up with any water coming back into your pump and causing a whole bunch of problems so we're gonna get that set up now So if you can't figure out which way the air blows, right here it says out, right on it. But what you can do is you can blow into these holes on the ends and the air is only gonna go one way. So see that way, it doesn't blow any air. 
So that's what we want. So we want the air coming this way. We'll get the hoses on the uh, air pump. And there we go. They're all on the pump. Now we're gonna put these on. All right, with the minute study as we can. Got them all in. A good tip might be to heat up your hose because they were pretty tight, really hard to get in there. I'm still, uh, I'm still gonna have to work them in a little bit. I didn't get them all the way in, so I'll have to do that after. Next, we're gonna put the plugs into the holes that are on top. Alright, now we gotta install the airflow regulator. Alright, I had to get a bigger drill bit. <laughs> the plugs just were not fitting. So I got a little bit bigger drill bit and now they go in a little bit easier. Now hopefully the tube you know, go in a little bit easier. That's a lot easier. Alright, we got the airflow regulator on. Now we're gonna set up the insides. We're gonna set up the airstone and we're gonna set up the drip ring uh, installation.
on. And there we go. We got one bucket set up. All right, I'll get the second one set up and then we'll test them out. All right, we got the water in it, and as you can see, it's working. So now that's all we gotta do is get the seats in here, and uh, yeah, we'll be ready to rock and roll. It wasn't overly difficult to put together. Uh, these things were a little bit tight. I had to uh, jimmy rig and <laughs> make the hole a little bit bigger so I could get, it, get them through. But it worked, they're working, so it's all good. All right, so probably within the next week, I'll transplant the Hague's Knights in here, and uh, we'll take it from there. We're, <laughs> we're getting ready to rock and roll. Next thing I gotta do is I gotta rinse off the uh, clay pellets. Uh, everybody suggests rinsing them off because I guess there's a coating on them and stuff. I'm gonna do that before we transplant them. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, peace.